Hi guys, uh, let me take you through problem number one and the problem set. Uh, the question here is, uh, the marketing manager for Mountain Miss Sola needs to decide how many TV spots and magazine ads to run during the next quarter. He has received a report from his subordinate that each TV spot costs $5,000 and is expected to increase the sales by 300,000 caps. And each magazine ad costs $2,000 and is expected to increase the sales by 500,000 caps. Uh, he has got an approval from the top management to spend a total of ended thousand dollars uh, which can be spent on TV and magazine ads. However, the marketing manager wants to spend no more than seventy thousand dollars on TV spots and no more than fifty thousand dollars on magazine ads. Mountain missed earns a profit of zero point zero five dollars each can itself. Uh, here the the question is to figure out how the subordinate could have come across the values highlighted in yellow. Uh, these values highlighted in yellow, or they represent the expected increase in sales value, uh, which the subordinate might have uh, forecasted using any forecasting technique on the uh, past data. Uh, the company, uh, they, they will have the past data and based on the past data, subordinate, subordinate uh, might have use of forecast uh, to, to know how much by how much amount the sales might increase if you use TV spot and magazine ads. But by that uh, you might have got this uh, values highlighted in here which are three hundred thousand caps and five hundred thousand caps. Uh, the second question is to figure out how the top management uh, have come to a decision to allocate hundred thousand dollars for this purpose of marketing. Uh, so here the top management uh, might have consulted uh, the uh, finance team for this uh, where the finance team uh, might have looked at the uh, historical data of the company and uh, they might have calculated the risk risk involved in each risk involved in each of the uh, previous years and uh, finally they have they might have come to a conclusion of uh, Allocating hundred thousand hundred hundred thousand dollars for marketing this for the for the next quarter. Uh, the third question is figure out how the manager could have come across the values highlighted in green. Uh, here uh, the values highlighted in green are the amount of uh, money spent on TV and for magazine TV spots and for magazine ads. Uh, here, uh, managers might have concluded uh, based on the uh, value for each TV spot because here for each TV spot it costs five thousand and for magazine it's co it costs two thousand. So TV is a uh, little higher than is little higher than the magazine ads. So uh, based on that, uh, manager uh, would have decided to go for seventy thousand on TV and fifty thousand. Magazine ads, and he might have also looked at the historical data. And the fourth question is figure out how the profit margin 0.05 could have been obtained. Uh, here, the profit margin given is 0.05, which is highlighted in blue. Uh, we know that profit is nothing but uh, revenue minus cost. Uh, so, the uh, manager the, uh, subordinate. The, they might have considered the previous data and uh, uh, looking at the uh, total revenue and the cost involved in this, so uh, they might have complete, computed this value. Uh, the next question is to formulate an LP linear model for this problem uh, and we'll uh, form a linear programming model for this in uh, Excel and we'll use the solver. To solve this problem, so uh, this is the Excel sheet, uh, and here, here we have the item which is the TV and the magazine, TV spots and the magazine ads. And profit, like if we use TV spots, we will have an increase in sales by 300,000, and if we use magazine, we will have an increase in sales by 500,000, which are represented over here. And uh, these values are number of TV ads. The number of TV spots and the maximum ads, uh, which we'll be getting after uh, solving this equations using solver. And here, our objective is to uh, maximize the 
profit and the profit here is uh, 300,000 into the number of TV ads and 500,000 of uh, ads in ads and uh, it is given that uh, they have 0 0.05 profit uh, per each ad. so we will multiply this entire thing by uh, 0 0.05 and uh, here the constraints uh, that are given constraints given are uh, that uh, tv ads cost 5 5000 per each tv cost cost each tv ad cost 5000 and each magazine ad cost 2000 and uh, it, sh it should be less than 100000 and uh, 500 and this and this 5000 is uh, each TV cost 5000 and uh, it, for TV uh, the budget is less than uh, $70,000 and for magazine each magazine had cost 2000 and it should be less than $50,000. Uh, we will be using solver for this. Uh, let me solve. So uh, here is objective. Our objective is to maximize the profit which is in B7 cell. And uh, we'll use the maximum maximum out here because you have to maximize this. And uh, changing the variable cells, uh, which cells we need to change over here. So uh, the number of TV spots and magazine ads are unknown here. So we will maximize the profit by changing these two uh, cells, which are uh, here. And subject to the constraints, we have to add the constraints in this section. In the constraints are D11 to D13. That is a D11 to 13. This 3 uh, must be less than this 3. So uh, this is what is mentioned here. And uh, we'll use the simple like cell P over here. We'll click on solve for this. And if we click on solve, we get the numbers as 25. So if we use 10 TV spots and uh, 25 lakhs in ads, we'll get the maximum profit, which is uh, 7 lakhs. The next question is uh, to sketch the feasible region for this model, and uh, for that, uh, we'll be using these equations, which are nothing but the constraints over here. Uh, let x represent let x represent the uh, TVs. And uh, y is um, maxing ads. So uh, from the first equation, we have 5000x plus 2000y must be less than or equal to 1000. And from the second one, we have 5000x must be less than or equal to 2000. And from the third one, we have 2000y should be less than or equal to 50,000. Uh, here uh, we have like we'll be plotting this. Uh, this represents the x values and this represents the y values and c1 is the uh, c series over here. And uh, these values like if we put y equal to zero, we get x equal to twenty in this equation in c1. And uh, if we put x equal to zero, we get y equal to fifty. Uh, that is what is mentioned over here, and in C2, uh, x will be 70,000 divided by 5,000, which is 14, so x is 14, and uh, y is 0 to 30, uh, which means that I'm extending y till 30 over here. This is the x equal to 49, and I'm extending till 30 on the y axis. And uh, coming to the C3, uh, in C3, we get y equal to 25. Which is uh, represented over here, and we are extending it to x equal to 40, uh, which is this. This is the uh, y equal to 25 line, and it is extended till 40. And uh, in all these equations, we have uh, less than or equal to, and here uh, one more constraint would be x comma y. Okay, and uh, so in this three, we have less than same. Less than symbol in all those. So uh, a feasible region should be less than this line, should be less than this line, and it should be less than this orange line. 
so a feasible region is this shaded part and uh, uh, the next question is uh, to find the uh, optimal solution using the curves uh, we have obtained our curves and uh, the optimal solution is this one as uh, here the profit is maximum this is the feasible region and this is the maximum point of this region which is nothing but 10 comma 25 c on x it's 10 and on the y it's 25 so we can uh, also use this uh, graph to find out the uh, ma maximum uh, to find out the number of tv spots and magazine ads which will maximize the profit uh, here is the solution for this thank you